Well, Jim, smoke machine testing has primarily been used in the automotive industry for years, but it's been basically based around low pressure systems, naturally aspirated engines, intakes, evaps, things of that nature. When we get into the forced induction turboed vehicles, it just doesn't have the pressure or the volume to cut it, so we developed the power smoke machine, high pressure, specifically for diagnosing these systems. Tell us a little bit about this machine. Well, the machine's very similar to your standard smoke machine with a few different features. One of the primary features is the power supply. It runs either off of DC current like most people are used to. It also can run off of AC current. So if you've got the vehicle up in the air, can't necessarily get to your 12 volt battery easily, you can plug it into the wall. And up front, we've got a few subtle differences. The pressure regulator, so we can adjust the internal pressure we're applying to the system. The gauge that goes with it. The most important feature on the front is actually our back pressure gauge. This determines how much pressure we're building in the system so we can determine where we need to check for flow and for leaks. And then we've got our flow meter, which is standard for most smoke machines, just so we can determine the size of our leak. Well, one of the big things I notice is not round anymore. It's a square box. So tell us about that. Well, Jim, we had to design this machine to be able to withstand anything it might get put through during these applications. And because of all the components that this machine houses, we had to accommodate for the size. Great. Well, let's get this hooked up and get this vehicle diagnosed. Absolutely. Okay, what's next? Well, now we have to install that intake adapter. Wow, tell us about this. Well, what we have, Jim, is an expandable bladder that conforms to just about any shape or size intake manifold or induction system to fit most all vehicles on the market. Well, show us how it works. Sure. All right, Jim, if you could just give me a little bit of shop air, we'll get this bladder inflated. All right, Jim, it looks like we're about all done with our installation. Why don't we go ahead and power up the machine? Okay. Okay, Lee, well, what's going to be different about this test? Well, Jim, normally with your smoke test and your standard machine, the only thing you can control is flow. With this machine, we can also control the pressure. So what we want to do with this is we're going to turn on our flow control knob and slowly start increasing our pressure and to a modest level until we start to see a leak. So you can see, Jim, the only way you're going to find a leak on a forced induction engine like this is with a high-pressure test machine. That is just great. Well, let's get this truck fixed and get it back on the road. All right. All right. 